Now, coming to you live, the weekend edition of the James Hendrick Show. We're going to do a flashback mashback. Since, since the United States Friday is, you know, lands on the 23rd, I couldn't fit in the White House really there and seeing that I think many of us are being, you know, hung over by the media. I'm thinking, well, shoot, why not now? Let's duck all the news. Here's my house, really. Alexa, disconnect from phone. Now disconnected from Galaxy S20 FE 5G. Okay. Listen to this. This is a private press conference. President Bill Clinton. This is uh, fictional, okay? Uh, September 24, 1994. White House Willie, September 24th, 1994. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, good, good afternoon. It has come to my attention that while I was away campaigning, that the chairman of the House Banking Committee has said that proceedings must come forward and that the White House, that my administration must release documents. I was warned of this by um, White House Counsel Lloyd Cutler who is considering resignation and also by Webb Hubble Sr. While I am not surprised that this is happening in my own party, after going out and campaigning with Hillary and some of our friends, I have decided that maybe it might be in the best interest of Dem- Democratic congressmen and those running in Democratic races in, in Delaware, Florida, New Hampshire, California, Connecticut, Hawaii, that they put some distance, distance from me. I will not do any more campaigning at this point. My focus this fall is going to be on foreign policy. Mrs. Clinton and I have talked about it, and we think it's something that could be a little bit more focused on with what's going on in Bosnia. Now, the chances are quiet please. Chances are that we were hoping early on. Okay, to try to flash it. There we go. We were hoping that early on that white water would have blown over. But unfortunately, we have been tested and proven wrong. When a U.S. judge in Little Rock overrode, overrode the wishes of, of U.S. Attorney Paula Casey, while that judge has reached out to me and apologized and said nothing personal, which I am gratefully appreciative, I am aware that in the White House I have made many friends. But sadly, I have also made some bitter enemies. To that end, I know we've all been suffering. I'm open for questions. Mr. President, Norma Sanders from the Society page. How is this affecting you and uh, Mrs. Clinton? We may be selective as to who is at the inner sanctum of the White House. Um, who gets welcome and who don't. 
This year, it may not be a who's who of Democrats. Now, I am aware of some of my supporters. Senator Ted Kennedy, God bless you. You know what we're going through. You know, as well as anybody, as much as anybody, that this has been a year of struggle for us. Since the judge's decision came down in October, But we are proud to know that we will prevail and we will provide for the best in America. Yes, sir. Chad Hasty with the uh, Andrew House Show. My question is this. How can you not be aware of what's going on with the conservative contract with America and, and, and their Where's to take back the house? Not everything that they say is true. Because the fact of the matter is, you can't play dumb with me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, and you can't play dumb with me. I know that some of them polls are skewed. The man who raised me, Roger Clinton, Papa, he didn't raise no fool. And my war room will continue to work on this, no matter what it costs. Yes, sir. Uh, Henry Castle of uh, CBNC News, sir. My question is this. Does this change anything about your economic agenda in the fall. We feel that we've done all that we can. I am aware of what it cost us the past two weeks. The economic care package I had tied to welfare reform was killed by a large majority in the U.S. House. And so we have to acquiesce sometimes. You win a few, you lose a few, and my back is to the wall. But I have to do what I can to work for the American people. Thank you. We needed some lightheartedness because of what's going on. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> It, it really is something for me to parody this man back in his White House. I'm sure he was aware of what was going on in 1994. It's, it's always intrigued me what was going on throughout the election as he watched the Contract of America come up and, and the polls, which clearly showed a Republican majority we're, 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 we're seeing that now. Guys, we can still take this country back. We still can. All right, you listen to me. Don't, don't give up. No matter what it takes, don't give up. Don't give up because I hear you. I hear you. Okay. <laughs> I hope I can still bless your lives. I know I'm going to look out for each and every one of you. And y'all take care and, 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 and know that I'm, I'm on your side. Okay? Know that we have to stick together no matter what. And with that, I hope you enjoy listening to the James, Hen- the James A. Hendrick School of Leadership. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, become a part of the James A. Hendrick School of Leadership classroom. Uh, this is Jimmy Hendrick saying, until next time, take care and be proactively informed. I'm going to be taping, uh, I'm going to be t- this show is going to be released to tomorrow. I'm going to be re-tape- taping shows Monday through Thursday, and then, <laughs> good news is Friday, here on Space Friday. Get ready, guys. Take care, be proactively informed. God bless.